Yeah. All right, guys. How about let's talk some memorabilia. Okay. An original letter from Malcolm X to Muhammad Ali. What? A microphone used by Ronnie James Dio. Holy Diver, what? that sounds awesome. That's that one of his really songs, good. yeah. Holy Diver. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. Coming up, a memorabilia expert tells us what's on tap for an online auction that's less than a week away. Ooh, look at that. We're talking about some cool collectibles, my friend. I know you're all in over there. Oh, I'm seriously, I'm in heaven over uh, over here with this stuff. Uh, we're talking about cool collectibles that you can get your hands on. There's a live online auction going on later this week, and we need WD-40 for that camera. Uh, and one of the items gears around boxing legend Muhammad Ali. I'm just having the best time talking to memorabilia expert Kita. And uh, what's nice is that it's online, but you have a local showroom yes, as well. Yes, we do, and you can come down and view these items in person but of course you can you can see everything online at memorabilia.expert okay now I was mentioning as we were going to the commercial break that I I wrote this was that was my fault I wrote that it was Mal, it was a letter that Malcolm X <laughs> drafted to Muhammad Ali only because right. the content in it you, yes. would, you would think you, that would be the case. Absolutely, because the content is so radical. Yeah. And you would think it would be coming from Malcolm X, but that wasn't the case. That's why this is so significant. Wow. It's Muhammad Ali's stream of consciousness directed towards subject Malcolm X. So he didn't really think that these letters or this, these notes were going to be viewed for public. Which wow. is very, you know, very key. In addition to that, it actually comes from Kalia Ali, okay. the wife, and that was from the 60s, so mid 60s. Yeah. I'm thinking it was prior or right around when Malcolm X was assassinated. Whoa. But it's important to note that even with these radical ideas mm -hmm. that are written here for us to read, right. and we actually transcribed it, so you can go to memorabilia.expert, to just type it. in Muhammad Ali, yeah. and then you can just click on it, and you'll be able to view exactly what was written as it was written verbatim. I was shocked, yeah, yeah. for sure. But um, very, very now, very, very important for now. But they did right. change. Malcolm his X, views changed. Yes, his mm -hmm. views did change. Okay, uh, let's move on because I, there's so much so many good yes. things to talk about. A lot of sports memorabilia. The sports, yes. Mm -hmm. We do have Cal Ripken's rookie era glove. Wow. And you know that gloves for baseball players are that's their that's their hardware. That's the, yeah. that's their arsenal. Yep. That's what they're going to use. And that's why it's so important mm -hmm. that we have one. And normally they don't give them up. They they don't yeah, like to give up. Especially their someone like Cal Ripken. You know, is it Junior? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cal Ripken. And he Cal actually Ripken. gave this to a bad boy. There's provenance, which is what you want when you're looking for collectibles. Mm -hmm. So you never know what you might have in your closet or I don't know if it's through an air. Yeah. And you may not know what you have. And we also offer that too as well, is that you know it's ask me, memorabilia.expert and, and it's easy to go online and ask the question oh, okay. of what you might have. Okay. You know, that's how this like with the Superman I love Superman. Yeah. Right? I mean, okay, hello, right, fabulous. Right. And especially with the resurgence mm -hmm. of all the superhero movies that are coming out. Right. We have this cape, which is from 1955. Wow. The TV series worn by George Reeves. Yeah. That is very, very difficult to keep intact from that long ago. It looks brand new, you yeah. know, but it's not. No, it's not. It is, it's felt. Mm -hmm. It's the red felt. And understand that this was actually from 55 when they switched over from black and white to color. Oh, wow. Which is very important to note. That's why it's red. I know that they had a brown cape, which went over 100,000, which was from the black and white series. Okay. Um, everybody loves to see Shaq shoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they're God. huge. Oh, they're huge. Huge. We can both fit in there. <laughs> I know. Okay? Look at those. Yes. What, size, what size is they're it? They're 22. 22. 22s. 22, yes. Wow. So they're always a conversation piece. Oh, for sure. Everybody loves Shaq uh -huh. and his shoes. Yeah, right? Okay, big shoes. Uh, also, people, maybe not this generation, but uh, past generations love to talk about Broadway Joe Namath, right? I mean, oh, he is a God. character. Oh, we love Joe yeah. Namath. Yeah, yep. And all of, our, all of our New York transplants. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yes, and you know what? what's really great, although we know Namath with the Jets, yeah. His last game was with the Rams. Oh, right. Okay. And we actually have his jersey, his game use jersey from the Rams. So, yeah, I see that right Abs down there. You know, so you don't really associate Namath with that, but it was very important. Yeah. Because that was his last game. And, you know, where... Sure. where you know, how important is that? You know yourself. And now the Rams are back in L.A., yeah, so oh it comes God. full circle. Oh, yes, you got to love that. Well, listen, we're out of time, but uh, to do this online yeah, auction. Memorabilia.expert, or okay. you can visit us at our showroom. Okay. That's Desert Inn at Torrey Pines. Okay. You can come on in, or if you have any questions, ask me, memorabilia.expert. Yeah. We didn't even get a chance, uh, Monica, to talk about the... Uh, 
Boston Red Sox oh, World Series ring. We'll, we'll just go down there and see it. But, uh, you know, it took a while for the Red Sox to win a World Series, so that's huge. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's some good stuff, Jace. Thank you so much. Hey, ladies.